everybody, I'm in the little wood, or sending as Martin. Welcome back to Legends of Mad Mask Thread. We are playing as Azora today, and we're going to be making our way over, finally, to the Great Fairy Fountain of the Great Bay. I finally found out where it was. I had to quickly look it up on YouTube, uh, and it was actually a little bit more obvious than I was expecting it to be. I'm wondering if... Ah, balls. <laughs> I, I tried to surface far too early there. Never mind. Anyway, I want to go across to here. I want to jump out of the water if I'm tall enough to climb out of that, which apparently I am not, which is great. Uh, and yeah, basically, I've got to do the hook shot across all of these different trees. And that basically gets me all the way over to the fairy fountain. So we're going to do that. We're going to deposit our bits. And then I think what I might do is go back to Clock Town and deposit our money. And then basically just go back to the start of the first day and make our way over to the... It would be the east now, wouldn't it? Yeah, headed over to the east to make sure uh, that we can continue on with the storyline now people have told me that there are like bottles to be had in certain places and stuff but honestly i've not really needed to use them so far so i'm not going to waste any time with that um i would just like to pretty much just get towards uh the latter part of the game uh, now i do want to make sure that i get the cool mask so basically like i want to make sure i get all of the masks oh god there you go bugger off you uh <laughs> i want to make sure i collect all of the masks so i can make sure i get the big one like there's apparently like a scary looking link mask that is basically OP as hell and basically helped me in the final fight against schoolboy so that's something we're going to look for um, so if you know of any maps uh, any maps <laughs> what am I talking about any masks that I can grab between now and the next um, the next temple then do let me know uh, I don't know where I'm supposed to go after that am I supposed to try and jump that oh god I'm dreading this uh, yeah, I just made it wow okay Okay, go again. Oh, 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 that was close. Do I have any bombs for breaking through this wall? I bloody hope so. Ten. All right, good. Yeah, I've got ten. All right, let me place these down. Let me quickly run away a little bit. And hopefully... Yeah, there we are. The path is cleared. And I think the Great Fairy should be right here. There we go. Yeah, sorry it took like two episodes, by the way. I genuinely didn't expect it to take that long inside the Water Temple. But I think it's just because the Water Temple is a lot of lever switching and water management. So it was a lot of back and forth. And um, it was actually like an hour long it took me to do this. So I, I actually managed to condense it down into videos quite nicely. But anyway, we got old Lilac Lady over here. She's the Fairy of Courage. Right, okay. She's going to give us strength. What does that mean? She's going to give us another heart? We basically only really have room for, like, two hearts. Oh, no, you're just going to mend us. And is that it? You're not, you're not going to give us anything else cool? No abilities, nothing else like that. Is there really any point in us doing this? Link seems pretty chuffed with himself, but I don't know what he's actually gotten. Your defense has been strengthened. Enemies now do half as much damage as before. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> That's really, really freaking good. That's exactly the kind of thing that I was looking for. Sweet. Oh, man. So we can basically now take how many hearts we got at the minute? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've essentially got like 12 hearts of damage that we can take before we die. That is a buttload. And again, it reinforces the reason why I don't need any more bottles because I've got that much as well as up to four fairies at any given time. I'm going to be totally fine. But anyway, let's fly ourselves back over to Clock Town. We'll deposit our monies, and then we'll de uh, we'll basically rewind the time back to the start of the first day. And then we can make our way over to the east, which is now, like, not shrouded. We can actually see what's over there, which is kind of cool. So, back to Clock Town. How many rupees do we have now? I want to have a little look at this. Because, I mean, we've got 120 honours. Let's have a little look. How many did you say that we had? Let me, actually, let me just deposit them. And I can look at the total amount after that. There you go. 577 rupees. Good lord. Right, I'm going to save here in case I really ball something up. Uh, it's not like my Banjo-Kazooie stream where I can just repeatedly press F5 to uh, to save state. And let's go back to the start of the first day, which I think is YLR, YLR, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. All right, here we go. People told me as well, actually, that when I'm playing the song on the ocarina, I can keep the song sheet open. I, that's just something I assume wouldn't work. But um, if I keep the song sheet open and start playing a song, I think it stays there, um, which is kind of handy to see. I just noticed as well, we only really have, like, five spaces free in our inventory. Um, and I guess, obviously, we'll collect a few more bottles along the way. But I think we basically have pretty much every major item now, other than the one that we're obviously going to get inside of the next temple to defeat the next boss. And I can't even think what it might be, because we've got the boomerangs with the Zora mask. We've got the hookshot, the lens of truth. We've got two kinds of arrows. Um, what? I'm trying to think of other Zelda items that we don't have yet. 
No, I didn't really come up with anything that I couldn't already have thought of. I mean, I looked at it and there were things like, you know, the uh, the magic wands and stuff, which in this game are obviously the fire and the ice arrows. Um, and that was really about a lot. Obviously, there was like the shields, the power glove. I highly doubt it's going to be inside of this game. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's carry on going out this way. So I think we've just walked out the south there. Really, we want to be headed over to the east. Where is it? Yeah, we're going up towards the canyon, right? Uh, yeah, let's have a little look then. Let's get Epona out with us. She can help us ride along the place. Where is she? Epona? Which one are you? Epona's song. There we go. AXY. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can just play it like that. I thought maybe, like, after you press, like, the first button, then it'll go back to the other screen, but it's kind of cool that it just does this whenever you like it to. Hello, Epona. <laughs> Here's good old Anope. All right, Anope. Away! Let us go! I'm going to go over this way. I'm going to sort of head up the hill. So that's where the observatory is. So it must be up here and through a gap in this direction. Oh my god, that is it. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Does that, was I just seeing that at the wrong angle or is that a gigantic bomb shoot? Run! Oh no, go, 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 go! Wow, we only just got out the blast radius there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I wasn't sure if that was just like a depth perception thing that just made it look way bigger than it actually was, but nope, legit, just a huge freaking bomb shoot. There you go. I, I'm just literally guessing my way around this area. Just run. Don't stop running. Don't stop running. Up you get. No, you can't do it. Oh, okay, get off. Oh, get off. Get off. Get off. Get down. Get down. How do I get down? A to get down. Oh, Jesus. I didn't seem to be taking any damage, though, when I'm actually on Anope, and those things try to attack me. There is a save point over to the right-hand side of us, but I'm going to go up here and find out what's over this way. Oh, dear. Hello there. Oh, we found a graveyard. The Akana Graveyard, right. God, there's going to be zombies and everything, isn't there? Hello, what do you say? The melody that summons the tears of angels rests here. Uh, so, I would like to know that song, I guess. Am I supposed to be able to read that and play it back? No. I think a, a song would have played. Oh, maybe it's inside of, like, the main... The main part. The soul of a brave soldier from Ikana rests here. Uh, what about you? Here lies a piece of that which sustains the life of the living. Once the spirit has been broken into three, is laid to rest, the precious peace shall awaken. Right, okay. Is that talking about the Triforce? I have no idea. Uh, what do you say? A peace that heals the wounded soul rests here. When one who possesses eyes that can see the truth arise... Ah, okay. Hold on a minute. Let me do this real quick. There we go. All right, so I think he basically wants me to use numerous different abilities that I've already uh, gained. To actually do some stuff here. So let me quickly put the lens of truth on. Um, what about that? Yeah, eye of truth. So what do you want me to do? Cut that open? Maybe that one? No? Can I actually pull these tombstones? Put the sword away. No, I can't really pull you or do anything like that. How strange. All right, never mind. Anyway, I'll come back to that. I don't think it's going to be too integral to what we're going to do today. Let's carry on going this way through the canyon. What? Oh, wait. I was wondering what that was. Hello, you. <laughs> uh, I'm Dampy, the gravekeeper who watches over this graveyard. My face is frightening, but I'm not a bad person. I've got this really good gypsy friend. <laughs> All the graves here belong to the family members of the King of Akana Castle. I didn't expect the other word to be there. A place that lies beyond the mountains. Even nowadays, the ghosts come out the graveyard at night. It's pretty frightening. Uh, sure. What have you say, madman? Oh, what in God's name are you? Hello? Can I t t target it? No, nothing? Lens of truth, nada. That is horrifying to look at. What is it? Wait, is that, that's not the skeleton of a Goron, is it? Because usually the Gorons are just sort of like lying on their belly all over the place. Ye who awaken me, battle me. Then I shall extinguish their furious flame. Right, okay. The door's locked. Oh, Jesus Christ. How do we awaken you? It's not like, it's not like this Sonata of Awakening, is it? Oh, maybe it will be. I heard that little jingle. Let's go for, where is it? Sonata of Awakening. Uh, where are you at? I don't think it'll be this. We'll try it, though. Oh, it did work. Oh, Jesus Christ. Young swordsman, you summoned me? Ah, but before we may exchange words, I must first test your skill. Stop me in my tracks. 
pass through the barrier flame. Show me what you've got. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. I have it the foggiest. How to stop you, bro. Where's he off to? Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. Let me hook shot up onto him. Oh, there you go. I sort of managed to stop him. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, 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 go. All right. Just keep doing this. Just keep attacking him. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, dear. Hold on. There you go. It seems to be stopping him. But I'm not entirely sure what I meant to do. Tattle, what's the chain? Uh, what's the crack? Hurry, chase him until you get your chance at him. But if you get too close, you might regret it. There you go. Oh, back it up, back it up. Okay. Oh, oh damn. All right. Okay, so it is literally just a case of attacking him. Stun him, stun him. There you go. Nice. Let's just keep doing spin attack. Spin to win, spin to win. Spin to win, Link. Spin to win. <laughs> it's not working. There you go. Stun. There you go. Nice. Okay, go cool. Butt buster. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, really? All the butt busters. There you go. All right, let's keep going. Butt buster. Yeah, wrecked him. He only got past the first firewall. Wait, stand down. I admit defeat. That was a lot easier than I thought it might be. Wait, has he put me on? <laughs> he's put me up on that ledge. I commanded the Akana army atop the hill in the name of the Akana kingdom. I am called Skull Keita. That's a pretty cool name. Since being shamed by the loss in a battle with my kingdom, I've waited here for one to come and awaken my soul. Good lord. There's a chest over there. Can I just jump through the flames to grab that? Young swordman who was awakened and def... Young swordman who has awakened and deftly defeated me. I shall rely on your power to fulfill my request. I ask you to take my soul, which rests in the fiercely burning flame, and convey my words to men who, even in death, remain loyal to me. Ah, I see. So that chest is going to have some kind of mask inside of it. Tell them the war has ended. Okay. Then I shall be able to drift quietly into sleep. Can do, can do. Captain, sir! May I take leave, sir? Sure thing, big man. Just fall into a pile of ash. Let your bones disintegrate and your soul sweep away. Oh, wait. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I thought for a second there that I had to do some kind of, like, input. It was just the longest, most awkward pause ever. He literally did what I said. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. All right. The flame should come down. And the item or the mask shall be mine. I should probably just have to hook over there, shouldn't I? There you go. Right way over. Open oh, chest up. Oh, it's a nana nana. Nana 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 Oh, I was too early and it was the wrong kind of jingle. You got the captain's hat. The ghosts of a hundred soldiers swear allegiance to this symbol of authority. Sweet. All right. So I wonder now if I go back into the graveyard, if uh, all the skelly bobs that are going to be in there are going to listen to me. Let's have a little try this on. Oh, that does look cool, doesn't it? Digging it. Favorite mass so far, I think. Uh, I'm going to jump across there. Oh, no, fell right the way down. I do wonder what was back through that path. <laughs> I guess I'll never know. Anyway, let's have a little walk up this hill. I just want to see how far he could have gotten. Oh, you know what it looks like? Oh, I see. It's a straight circle. Right. So that's where the path ends up. Right. Yeah, I probably should have looked at the minimap before walking this far ahead. Can I uh, call a pony over? There's a bit of a ball lake to run around on. Uh, AXY, AXY. Oh, there you go. Axi, Axi. I'm not even sure if a pony can come here. I'd like to think she could, but it's not Hyrule. It's not Terminal Fields. No. It's not going to happen. It's not like The Witcher. You can't call it wherever you are. So, what are we doing up here now, then? So, should we try and go through that door, maybe? Uh, Yehu awaken me. Extinguish flames. The door is locked. Okay. What about if I talk to uh, the old graveyard dude? Where's he at? Oh, no. He's gone. <laughs> maybe he's gone down to actually look after the graveyard. Let's have a little look. Ah, uh, here he is. Hello, you. Can I have a little chat with you? Come on. Oh, uh, they're, they're out. Why are they out when it's not even night? Oh, God, he's running out. Come back, you idiot. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm taking the mask off. you got nothing to worry about. Come here. No. Oh, God's sake. He's just going to run in circles now. Oh, just stay away. There you go. <laughs> Good Lord. 
Let me try a hookshot, actually, on that thing just there. Oh, you bugger. I was trying to use the hookshot. There you go. Oh, yeah. It's like a piñata. Yay! A piñata of money. That's the best kind of piñata. Candy's all right, but it's got nothing on this. Right, so what did this gravestone stay again? The melody that summons the tears of angels rests here. Okay. Now, what did this one say? I'm sure one of them said, like, a song of healing. No. Shall I fast forward time, do you reckon? Actually, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to go back into the previous area. And if there's nothing back there for me to go and do, I'll come back here and I'll fast forward the time of day to, like, evening. So, like, to, like, 6 p.m. or something. And see what it has to, uh, what it has to say for itself. So, there's nothing for me to do around here. There is a lady up on that ledge. <laughs> what are you doing in a place like this? Ikana Hill. Beyond here is the place where spirits with troubles and lingering regrets wander. Even now, the spirits wander in search of one who can save them. It is unfortunate, but it is no place for one such as you. But if you must enter, then you must obtain the mask. Oh yeah, wandering spirit. Oh wait, near the ranch are a pair of men with the mask of an Ikana Ninja. What? Men of poor character who commit evil deeds find them. So near the... I'm going to have to write this down. Hold on a second. Notepad file. So, <laughs> here we go. Near the ranch. Pair of men. Ikana ninja. Right, okay. Men who commit evil deeds find them. All right, there you go. I've noted that down. Let's find out what else she has to say for herself. Without that mask, you cannot help the rest of the spirits of Akana. Without it, you cannot save their souls. Until it's in your position, I will not let you pass by here. Oh, wait, wait. So, right. No, got you. She's on about, yeah, just there. So, very quickly then. Let's fast forward the time of day. I'm, I'm pretty certain she doesn't mean Lon Lon Ranch, but we can always go check there just in case. But let's move the time of day forwards a bit, and then we can go up into the graveyard and see what happens then. Uh, so, which one is it? It's the double song of time. Y-Y-L-L-R-R. There you go. <laughs> that last one was a slightly longer note than I was expecting. All right, cool. So, yeah, let's go to the evening time. So, yeah, 6 p.m. I'm pretty sure that's when all of the skelly bobs will come out of the ground. Here we go, then. Hello, boys. Let me chuck this on. Let me have a little chinwag with you. Hello? Speak. Oh? Oh, Captain, sir. Uh, excuse me, sir. Everyone, give the captain your attention. We haven't seen you in some time, Captain Sir. As per your orders, sir, we've been guarding these graves closely, a different one each day. We have all been expecting your next order, sir. Uh, open the grave. Uh, uh, open it? Uh, yes, sir. Everyone, follow me. Ah, I see, sir. Do I have to go back on each of the days? Nice. Okay, cool. So they're going to pull that bad boy. Oh, my God. They're just clobbering it. <laughs> Sure. You could have just moved it out the way. Oh, and they've all jumped in as well. All right. Well, let's go have a little look then. Let's find out what's beneath the ground. Oh, Jesus Christ. Beneath the graveyard. Okay. I'm going to jump across here and find out what the hell is hidden in this place. Got some arrows in there. A heart there. And a buttload of bats. Oh, my God. Maybe they won't come at me if I've got this mask on. No, they will. They definitely will. Spin to win. Spin to win. Spin to win. Spin to win. All the spins. All the wins. All the chins. Oh, God. Dust spins. Another ins. Logins. Passwords. Go. Go. Are we done? <sighs> Bad bloody time. Jesus. All right. Let's open up the chest. <laughs> There's going to be nothing crazy in there. Maybe like a small key or something. Let's have a gander. Wow, okay, 50 rupees. Fair play. Uh, I'm going to assume maybe if we light up some of these torches as well, something else fancy might happen. So, there you go. Let's have a little fire at you. There's you on lit up. Uh, I want to fire you. Who else needs a light? Uh, anybody else in here a smoker? Let's have a look upstairs. Any other smokers in his house? No, that was it. All right, fair play. I'm sort of stuck on a ledge there. <laughs> Not in touch. Oh, no, there's one just there. There we go. Three of them are lit up. And that does not open the way just here. It won't budge. Right, okay. Oh, we have to light them all of the... Uh, right, in really quick succession. Okay. So if I stand about here, I guess. There we go. So, one... Uh, go, go, go. Come on. And then right the way around. Oh, God, my 3DS doesn't turn that far. Is that all of them lit? What? What are you talking about? That was definitely all of them lit. There you go. 
Lovely and bugger. I think I might have just seen the flash of the first two and moved away too quickly. Oh, no. All right, it's a fight. We're going to have to go Goron mode. Where is it? <laughs> um, Goron mask. Actually, I'm going to walk into the room as the Skelly Bob because maybe he'll serve me. Oh, Jesus. Hello? God, he's a big dude. He's got a giant bloody battle axe as well. <laughs> I don't want any part of it. And there's some kind of stage. What's that all about? Hello? Oh, I spanked him on the butt. He was not happy about that. All right, Goron mode. There we go. You ready for this? There we go. Just butt buster him. Jesus Christ. I think he hits hard, doesn't he? There you go. Nice. Look at this. Sweet. That's a bit of armor off. Whoa. There you go. Oh, back it up. Nice. Look at that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. What's inside of there? Oh, nothing. The door opens and on with the show. Oh, I was hoping there'd be a really fantastic show going on there. Maybe a cabaret or something like that. But <laughs> there's, there's bugger all there. Are you the one who freed my soul? Well then, let me give you a show. I serve the royal Incarna family for generations, I assume. I am the, the composer they call Flat. Oh, sure. The songs connected to the royal family that remain here were all composed by my brother and me. Oh, Sharp, my dear brother. He sold his soul to the devil and was the one who locked me in here. You who do not fear the dead, learn well this song that is inscribed behind me. And if you ever get rid of that giant pot belly of yours, then meet my brother and inform him that the thousand years of raindrops summoned by my songs are my tears. What? The lightnings that strike this earth for my anger? You've made your request. All right. <laughs> he got very, like, dramatic there at the end. Quite biblical. Quite biblical. Anyway, uh, let's learn what this song is. It's lined up on there. I have no idea how to read it. I think it's the bit just beneath it. Yeah, there's the anger, the tears. Look down. There you go. All right. The song's written. What is it? Oh, do 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 Is this the song of rain or whatever it's called? I think it is. Hmm. Sorry, not the song of rain, the song of storms. By the way, have you ever seen it? There is a sick remix of the song of storms. I think it was like a fixer that did the remix. I mean, if you've never heard it before, it is so good. Um, you look it up on YouTube. I'll put a link in the comments uh, or in the uh, description if I remember to. Um, a melody filled with a, comp a composer's passion, a turbulent tune that blows the curses away. Good stuff. Right, well, there we go. We've found a brand new area. We've got a brand new song. And I think in tomorrow's episode, we're going to go back outside and try and open up those other gravestones. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you all in a little bit. Bye-bye.